What's going on guys? Seijigans here. Bit of a prelogue before part 6 begins. To cut the story short, part 6 is about... it's 27 minutes long, which means I had 27 minutes of audio. I do I do the usual stuff in WavePad. I, I normalize it, do a bit of noise gating, make sure everything's like as clear and clean as possible. I go to save it. WavePad crashes. I lose all 27 minutes of my audio. Well, speaking anyway. So, annoyingly enough, part 6 is going to be post-commentary. And fair enough, there was some quite... Uh, my title of the piece, my title of piece, I'm not in university, fuck off. Uh, the whole point of this episode was for it to be, like, the whole title was based around my commentary, so, but fuck it, I'm probably just going to do it anyway, so, yeah. And enjoy the episode. I'll see you in a bit. I'll see you there, in about two seconds or so. Hello again guys, okay, so you meet me here, where I've retreated to the editing quarters, and I am now watching back my footage, which, uh, which, which pains me to see, which I, I can't believe I couldn't have put the live commentary in, I mean, what a pain in my ass wavepad can be sometimes. Anyway, I had a musical number, I opened with a musical number, I'm not gonna do it now, because it's lost all purpose of it now. Um, anyway... Here we are. We're back. We're back in this area again with our old friend, our old creature from the Black Lagoon. Friend. I tried. I think. And right. I could use these boxes to try and get across the water, but no, he has none of it. So, um, go get the dead flesh. There you go. Go get it. Go get it. Come on. There's a good creature from the Black Lagoon. Who's a good evil monster? There you go. So I think at this point I decided. Right. I'm just gonna peg it across the water, which is probably a bad idea because I heard the monster chasing after me, and then I looked behind me. It turns out he was right there. I don't even know if he at the arm or not, so... So yeah, that's, that's a story for another time, I guess. Anyway, this is th I think this is the hard part of... The hard part of this... This area is getting that gate open. Because you can't really pick up any of the boxes, and... Getting enough distance... On the monster, I think, is probably the most important part. So you throw a box over there, and now I hear it coming towards me, and it hits me. So I start shipping one and running around in circles. I, I can't even see my screen now, it's that dark. Am I, am I in a box? I've got no oil, that's why. Oh no way, I have got oil. Uh, I did this when I was recording it as well, I have got oil. I had four pots of oil, so we fill up fill up our, an our lantern halfway. And we attempt to, I think, I didn't even check my health then, but I'm pretty sure my health was pretty bad. Um. Yeah, oh fuck, yeah, I remember this bit. He just stood there. And I think for the next five minutes it was basically just me thinking, right, how can I get round you? And so I mustered up enough strength to try and, I think, jump the gap. It's, a, it's sometimes, like, it's an awkward controlling system sometimes for amnesia, because you've got to hold down the shift key. Holding down the shift key with your little finger whilst trying to press W, and there we go. Oh, <laughs> definitely definitely clutch. So, another dead limb, and another catch the stick. Go on, here we go. So I'm trying to wait until I've got enough, I think I've got enough distance on the monster so I can get into the water, and this is probably what's so fear inducing about this part of the game. This gate opens so slowly, and I can hear a meeting, and now I hear the footsteps coming back, so at this point I just thought, right, fuck it, I need to run. It's going to be right behind me any second. Get on the box. Okay, we're on the box. And so, if you remember last time, and there he is again. If you remember last time we got well, we didn't get lost, we just, we got to the door, and it was locked. So, I found a needle this time. It would have helped if last time I just looked on the shelf. But, here we go, so, here we go, simple lock. Here, we think it was a key, so we thought, maybe the needle? Turns out the needle was correct, and we go into the archive tunnels. And here was me, like I forgot this part of the game, here was me thinking that, you know, the, that's the water part over and done with, but, um, yeah. Uh, loading screen. Uh, yeah, more water. Here we go. And at this point, see, I had, oh god. There's only one part, alright, I'm going to run you through this part now. There's only one thing you can do on this part, and this run, if you stand still for one second, you are dead. 
The water monster will just chase you and chase you. And also the shadow. The shadow is trying to kill you with all this greeny glue. Green? Green? Jesus Christ, are you colorblind? Red. It's red. Right, with all this red glue. You know, I was making jokes about you. Your wife has left you. Your kids are dead because all they wanted was swimming lessons because you were busy playing amnesia. Telling them not to go in the water because evil water monsters will get you. It's lost all meaning now. I can't really do it. So here we are. Just keep running and you'll be fine and you'll make it to the back hall. The back hall is basically, it's like the entrance hall. It's its its a safe point so you, where you are definitely safe from no monsters. No monsters are really going to get you. Like in this part of the game. And also the back hall, turn the lantern off as we walk up the stairs, which is kindly guided by these torches on both sides of the wall. And prepare to listen to one of the most central pieces of music you will ever hear in video games, in my opinion. I did say in the live commentary I was going to put um, a link to... A link to um, a li I was going to link you to a video where this just loops over and over again. Seriously, if if you ever want something just soothing, like it's good for work. If you're if you've got a lot of work, I just decide to splash in the water for a bit there. Also, in the live commentary, I was thinking about that fountain. I was thinking I need a fountain like that in my house. I like that kind of like HR Geiger, like kind of you know it was just a it was just a baby's face with a spinal column. And, um, okay, we walk through here and we get another flashback. You have an ascending room. Will it take us to the inner sanctum? It will definitely take care of the vertical part of our journey. So, you have ridden an elevator before? Yes, the Colosseum at Regent's Park has one. It takes you to the gallery where you can view the panorama. Good. This ride might be a little longer. And in the other direction. It's a very eerie shade shading when you go into those flashbacks. But anyway, I think the red mist in those main flashbacks essentially tells you um, the main focal point or the main mission within this area of the game. I think we call this. I think this is the second area in the game. We've just finished the first area with the the, the cellar archives and the archive tunnels. But I was making a comment about the the architecture in this room. I mean, basically, who is Alexander? If this castle wasn't so full of monsters and icky red spunky goop, then it would probably be a very pleasant place to live. I mean, the columns, the lions. I mean, I think there's there's griffins in the back hall as well, and that fa and of course that fountain. If you're going in, if you're going into this stage, I guess. Um, I'm not. Sh I'm not sure. Like what I was. This is why I don't. This is why you choose not. You can't really post commentate amnesia anyway because it it gets rid of the the nitty grittiness of it. It gets it's a live reaction that you really want in a commentary for this kind of game. But um, I think yeah we are. We go into the guest room now. Um, in this area, um, I can't believe something happens. I'm not going to ruin it. So this is this is Daniel's room when he stayed. My journal is gone. What would they want with my journal? So we just found out that um, Daniel's journal is gone. So I'm not sure of the things. So if, if we're finally getting ripped up pages, just about, and I think this is a d diary entry now. Second of July, 1839. I received a letter today from the Algerian governor's office disclosing the fate of Herbert's expedition. About a week after my departure, Abdullah, one of the men traveling with us, returned from the desert. He was badly injured, as if maimed by a lion. The man rambled deliriously about the expedition being attacked by something horrible. The French quickly dispatched a search party to look for the expedition. After searching for days, they found the camp abandoned without any trace of Herbert or his Ooh. men. Tomorrow, I'll retrieve the things they recovered from Herbert's tent at the customs house. I don't know what to make of it, but I'm worried for him. Hmm. So, Professor Herbert's gone missing in, in Algeria or wherever, wherever they found the orb from. So, yeah. There's a, there's qu it's quite a bit of a treasure cove, this guest room. I mean, 
then there's oils, there's tinder boxes. I didn't want to pick up that because I was scared of what might have happened. Um So anyway, this is this is David's oh is another second Third journal July, second journal entry. Today I picked up Herbert's things at the customs house. I dug through the trove of documents he had carried and found a log detailing the expedition. The nature of this text ranged from quick notes to colourful accounts of transpired events. I skimmed the page Oh yeah, that mouse thing I was not <laughs> I was notifying a uh, spelling error in colourful. I don't know why they spelt it the American way. We covered Daniel after one hour of entrapment. This confused me greatly. I was suffocating within minutes. How could I have lasted an hour? I continued mm. reading the peculiar text. Peculiar. Herbert states his facts without judgment or passion. But suddenly, I could read frustration into his text. He pushed his men to investigate the underground tomb, an effort which seems to have strained the minds of his men. Madness spread through the ranks, and Herbert had to take some extreme measures to continue. He finally visits the chamber himself, where he retrieves the orb to the surface. But wait a minute. His account confuses me greatly. If he has the orb, what are those pieces in my drawing? Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. So apparently there's a second orb. And apparently, oh yeah, also if you touch the bed, you get another flashback. Daniel. What? Still having nightmares, I see. Yes, I can't shake them. They come every night. We'll put a stop to them. You'll see. Okay, so um, Alexander is pretty much telling Daniel that he has the ability to stop the nightmares that dread him every night when he tries to sleep, which is why he was actually. Oh no, I shouldn't say that. It's later on. <laughs> uh, it was. It wasn't really a spoiler. A spoiler. It's just I don't. Oh, more tinder boxes and a crowbar. Um, at that point during the live, I was pretty much saying like, does Alexander have a cleaning lady? Alexander should have a cleaning lady because look at the state of his room. Fair enough. Daniel did this looking for his journal, but it's a bit, it's a bit much, I think. So anyway, we go into here. Right, the door is stuck due to a broken lock. So I think you can pretty much guess what you have to do here. It's not rocket science. Use the crowbar. The crowbar. Open the door, and there we go. No crowbar for us, though. No. Oh, another flashback. The key. Please let it be here. Okay, so apparently there's... Daniel hit a key in here. And, um... So if we check the mementos... I don't know why I checked the mementos, yeah. An important key is hidden in the, is hidden in the guest room. So, and apparently here's the third entry for Revelations. Uh, do I pick it up now? I think I do. Yeah, there we go. 4th of July, 1839. It's done! The orb is assembled! I was awakened by an exhausting nightmare. Shaking and sweating, I retired to the drawing room with a cup of tea. That's what all British people do. The relic pieces lay Because every British person has a drawing room. Them, but somehow and all British people I drink tea. How it was supposed Fair to enough, be. I'm drinking tea right I now. I fetched the tar, which I had prepared to fix the pieces together. And without fault, I joined them, producing the orb I remembered so clearly. The tar proved unnecessary. It was pushed out from the joining pieces as they merged on their own, with no adhesive. Ooh. The ancient stone relic now rests on my table. Its immaculate surface and perfect shape could have been molded by a factory. This is all too strange. I wonder if one of them has a, a factory made dud. Anyway, what happens right here, I didn't expect to happen right now, because I thought you'd have to get the key first, but here comes the cleaning lady. Yay. I made a joke about the cleaning lady, so I thought, right, I better hide. Better hide from the cleaning lady when she's realised what kind of a mess I've made. I'm sorry, Mrs. Cleaning Lady. Oh, she's breaking down the door. Shh. Shh. Oh, the cleaning lady's here. We need to whisper, otherwise she's gonna find us. Oh no, she's not. Look at the state of the room. She's going to kill us when she finds us. Come on, go away, Mrs. Cleaning Lady. I'm very sorry. Oh, there's the door. Oh, she's gone. Okay, so the cleaning lady went away. 
I felt like R. Kelly. <laughs> that wasn't even in the commentary, I just made that up then. Just R. Kelly. Because I'm trapped in the closet. 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 I'm good at manual echo. Natural echo. Anyway, um. I, c I couldn't remember where. Right, we're just trying to find a key. I wonder if it was. No, cracks in the walls. No, it's got nothing to do with it. But then you see a skewiff painting. Squiff. Skewiff. Or wherever you want to put it. Ah, there it is. Oh, thank God, there it is. I guess it is a good place to hide it then. Because they didn't find the key. What is this key for? I forget. That's the. Ah, it's the key for the machine room. Right, okay, that's, that's, that's handy. So, um. Now, I guess we just go. I'm not sure. What did I do? Ah, right. I stay on the top floor. That's what it'd do. Um, I remember that there was there was another room. What's the other? And look, oh, we've lost the nice music. That was it. I commented on the fact that my, my beautiful music had gone. Ah, the study. I, di I think I... Yeah. I'm not very good at post-commentary. I can only apologise if, if you find my ramblings... Ra my revolting ramblings rather repulsive. There we go. Lots of R's. I like alliteration. I mean, I think... I do kind of pride myself on my vocab. I'm not sure if that sounds arrogant to people, but I don't know. I feel... I don't know. It just makes me feel comfortable and, and happy about myself. The fact that I can... I can just do stuff like that at the click of a finger. Click of... Uh, just, just go ahead and... Christ. Uh, carrying on, just picking up tinderboxes. This looks a lot like the archives, and remember what happened in the archives. The archives are very deceiving. Like you never know. Like I've seen some trippy shit from other videos in the archives, but I might I don't know. You'll have to go find them. Anyway, this is um I did in the live commentary, what I did was, I was saying, like, you could just, if you wanted to read this, if you were really that bothered, you could just pause it. So I was thinking, right, we could go on, I was just giving you a bit of time to pause it and go on to the next page. And I think I go into the next page fairly soon. Yep, yeah, and then I think there's one more page. And it's signed, uh, Heimich Cornelius Agrippa. Who's, um... He, I think he's some kind of professor. I'm not sure what his his purpose is, but we'll just carry on regardless. Anyway, you always get you always get edgy with these dark, long, dark corridors. What's that? That's oil. Hmm. What was that? Is there something outside? You never see outside in this game, which is pretty. Actually, you 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 do to a to a degree, but I don't know. Oh, what's in here? This I think in here, kind of um, animal ex oh, animal experiments. Again, you can pause that if you really wanted to read that. But in here, this essentially solves one of the mysteries. That we had in episode four. If you remember, there were dogs howling. This pretty much tells oh, us. See what you have to offer. There you go. Ah, what a mess! I should have sharpened the saw, but I can sense it. It's definitely there. Alexander was cutting up dogs, I think, in his spare time, and I think there's one of them now. Um, however, there is one thing I did remember about this game that is in this room. There's a little gimmick with uh, one of the drawers. That's not of any importance, that's just something about anatomy. Uh, yeah, it's here. If you open this cupboard, boom, skulls. Hello. <laughs> it's kind of distressing for Daniel. But, um, like I said, I think I said it back in episode one, um, you pretty much go through this whole game. Oh fuck, I can't remember what episode it was. You pretty much do go through this whole game with a slight headache. I mean... Just Daniel must... I don't think they had paraffin in the 1830s. Um, also, later on in this episode, we actually figure out where we are. 
I've got we know it's Castle Brennenberg, but I was I thought it was we struggled with country, like as you'd probably think with most like indie horror productions, like especially films. So um it's one of those shady I wouldn't necessarily say shady, it's one of those small, tiny, not very thought of um Nothing trippy just happened in this room. That's not why I'm running. That's only because I just wanted to get out because I had more important things to do. So now we're back in the back hall. Um, it's a, it is a safe area, but no, not my pretty music is gone. I nearly, I really should start conserving oil because that's something I'm not particularly good at. I'd say it's conserving oil because I'm too scared of tripping out and. Um, because if you talk, because once he starts blabbing to himself, you, you can be seen quite easily. I think I'm going to the machine room now. Yeah, I'm going to head off to the machine room and see what I can do in here. Because my knowledge of, like, this part of the game is quite sketchy. Although, the whole point of this episode is pretty much ready to set me up for part 7, which is the live, the live episode. So, um, yeah. The episode, or the, the beginning of part 7, the first area we're going to go to, I would rate it as number 3 in like the worst 3 areas in the game. Like some people, oh here we are, we've got more, July, more M diary entries. Today I went to the university looking for answers. I was able to sneak into Herbert's office and pick up an address book along with some relevant textbooks. Professor Taylor at the Faculty of History was very helpful, and I managed to approach the subject of the orbs. The most interesting aspect was the prevalent trace they had left in our culture. The mythic orbs may, in fact, have inspired the Globus Cruciger, which so many royal regalia holds to this day. In ancient times, the orbs were held by priests as a symbol of the sun and its power. As I was leaving, I overheard a disturbing conversation. Mm. Sir William Smith, the geologist, was killed last night. Less than a fortnight had passed since I'd asked for his expertise. I know it's silly, but I can't help feeling responsible somehow. Maybe you are, Daniel. Maybe you are responsible somehow. Here we are, I'm just running around, see. And I've... Did I run out? Yeah, I ran out of that oil there. Like a... Like a... Like a mong. Doesn't matter. We've got four pots of the stuff. That's what. That's all you got to do. Really do with this game to keep up with your royal. But I don't see why. Why? Why am I lanting? Lanting? Lighting? Why am I lanting? <laughs> Speak, Chris. Why am I lighting my lantern? There we go. In these. In these areas. Look. Look. That. It's so unnecessary. It's already lit. Come on, Chris. Turn off your lantern. You're wasting oil. Turn off your lantern, Chris. Turn off the lantern. There you go. Oh, it only takes you to turn off the lantern when you come to a fully lit area. I think there's three... We just... That was one of three of um, the Haunted. I think it's... There was a segment called Haunted in his diary. I think this is... No, this is Machine Equipment Memo basically telling us that the rods are in storage. July 1839. I've read every book I can find on the subject. While rich in legend and hearsay, my knowledge is lack for the insight I crave. I've sent letters to many in Herbert's address book and received answers of varying importance. Today, I got one which differed greatly from the others. From a baron in Prussia. Ah, there we go. He said nothing in Prussia. about quaint stories of priests in underground temples. He didn't even mention them. He simply wrote, I know. I can protect you. Come to Brennenburg Castle. Signed, Alexander. What am I to make of this? Protect me from what? Is someone after me? I looked up Brennenberg and traced it to the Prussian woods near the Baltic Sea. While being the least informative letter I've received, it causes me greatest distress and interest. Mm. As I write, my thoughts are drawn to my nightmares in which a most disturbing sound calls to me. A sound defying description. A voice from the void. Tassadar? The last few weeks have been awful, with so the many voice from the void. a repeat of those horrid dreams. Shouldn't have done that. Tomorrow, I shall visit my physician, Dr. Tate, in hope that he can provide me with sedatives to help me sleep. So there we are, we're going to see Dr. Tate tomorrow. Well, that was 
not to, not tomorrow was in game in game time, but in the diary entry, I guess it's tomorrow. But don't know sedatives. I wonder what oh, 1830s sed 19th century sedatives. I wonder what they used. Opium. Nah, no, probably not. But um, I think this is the third diary entry. Here we go. 17th of July, 1839. How has this escaped me? They're all dead. Limbs scattered, head split down the middle, their skin flayed as if... Ugh. I feel like I'm falling into myself. What's happening? Sir William Smith, Professor Taylor, now Dr. Tate. Is it following me? How can it not be? It's the damn thing I brought from Africa. Something is after me. I have no choice but to trust the Baron. He hmm. better know what he claims. Poor Daniel. If he is wrong, I suspect he'll regret it as well. You can't help but feel sorry for this guy. He's forced. He was forced into this situation because everyone else who could who could have helped him is now dead. Thanks to whatever's following him. Ah. <sighs> Anyway, it's full of coal. I think. Do I run out of oil again in here? I'm not sure. Or do I just turn it off? Yeah, I just. I'm a good boy and I just turn it off. I should really start using tinder boxes. That's a. That, I saw a cog there, but that's something else for another time. Now I'm just running, trying to just get out of here as quickly as possible. I think we're, we're coming to the end of this recording. I hope. I hope you've enjoyed the post commentary. It wouldn't surprise me if you hadn't enjoyed the enjoyed it because it's not really it's not really something you can do like I think I've, I think I said this before it's not really something you can do in a game like amnesia you really need the live reaction every talking of what's going on at the game at the time but doing it like this I guess given given the circumstances there wasn't really anything I could do so um, I'm just checking my journal making sure everything's as it should be I think did I just I think I just read the machine memo and it said something about um, the spare rods being in storage so that is where we are going next it's storage and I would rank that as the the third worst place in the game fair enough people people might be there talking like uh, new, yeah you knew it's you knew it's the worst place in the game you knew where all the monsters are no these monsters free roam fair enough knowing where the monsters are in the game that's all well and good but you can't guarantee where they're going to be in the area they will f freely roam and it's horrid it's absolutely horrible knowing you could just turn a corner and there's one there and you ha and you're forced to run and I think there's two of them in storage as well, so... Uh, there's a few scripted moments, but even then, it's... Just coming into contact with them is horrid. Anyway, here we are at the end of the video. Um, this audio might pass on a little past the video. But um, don't forget to join me Monday, 11pm GMT time for the live part 7 Amnesia to Dr. Sense. Tell your mother, tell your father... Tell your dog, tell your grandparents, tell the creepy old guy over the road. And, yeah, that's it. Sorry about the lack of live commentary. Ordinary service should be resumed come part 8. No excuses. I want everyone there. 11pm sharp. I'm probably going to put it on at like half 10. You can listen to music while you wait. So anyway, I've been Seedjikins. Thank you very much. Good night. God bless.